Thank you for having us today and we showed us our artificial uh, intelligence and we came and we came up with the uh, three questions that to ask you. And for the first question is why do you uh, when you write this uh, poetry? The poem is called Artificial Intelligence. It's about uh, it's a memory of growing up when my father bought a toy robot for me. And this robot was snatched by the dog, and the dog chewed on this plastic robot. And I was like traumatized that the dog stole the robot and chewed it up, and all of its slobber was on the robot, because it was a gift to me from my father. Uh, so I, the poem is about, um, it's, it's meant to be kind of a, an ironic poem. The idea of artificial intelligence, even AI nowadays being so important, being the future, um, yet reflecting on this memory of a, of a robot, a plastic robot, way before the age of AI, and just feeling distressed because it had been chewed up, chewed up by a dog. <laughs> so it's a it's a childhood memory poem. And uh, what's the intended uh, message of this uh, poetry that you came up with? Because um, the, I mean, uh, the story and the the, the name of the well, uh, poetry is not is it's not aligned together. So, um, so I want to know the, the intended uh, message. Yeah, yeah. Good question. How does the title fit in with the poem? Um, I think it's that I first started to think of the idea of artificial intelligence with this robot. In fact, when I had a teacher once who asked me what field I wanted to study, I said artificial intelligence, but I didn't know what that was. I was probably 11 or 12 years old. And so um, that's, doesn't, that's not in the poem, but it's, uh, it's thinking about the idea of artificial intelligence and um, childhood, how those two were connected, how I really didn't understand what that was back then, but I was still fascinated by it. And the robot as this uh, symbol of artificial intelligence. Okay, so it comes to the last question. Yes. Ask you also prior when you are writing poetry about yourself. Yes. We just want to know how are you going to decide which detail is going to be in your poetry, like. Uh, how do we know that like, this time we're gonna describe our feeling at that moment or does it have never happening here? Yeah, great question. So how do I decide what detail to include and what to leave out? I go with the detail that stands out in my mind the most. And one of the things that I encourage students of poetry to do is to just write freely and then to go back, look at what you've written and try to identify some phrases or words that really stand out, and then look for patterns. So we may not include everything in your poem. Poetry is a practice of, of selection, of discerning, and so forth. And so uh, that's how I choose what to include. It's what stands out in my mind, and then what survives maybe a day or two of editing. If it, if it stays, then it must be good. If I haven't gotten rid of it by a day or two, after then it must be worth keeping. <laughs> Thank you so much. Group five. Group five. Well done. Yeah, excellent.